Hey there Pisces and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of October 2022. We're going to take a look at your past, your present, and your near future energies. Also Pisces, please keep in mind energies do go both ways so it could be picking up on your energy or your person's energy. Take it as it resonates. And lastly, if this reading resonates and you'd like to book a personal reading, all the information about how to do that is in the description box below. Ooh, so cold. Oh. You guys are definitely going through a break. Oh my goodness. What are these energies? What is happening, Pisces? This could be your energy or your person's energy. Take it as it resonates. Oh my gosh, somebody is so overwhelmed here. Ooh. So the main energy for your reading this month is the Seven of Cups. Somebody is really overwhelmed. They're really confused. I'm going to say you because this is your reading, um, but this could also be your person's energy. Take it as it resonates. So you're very, very confused here. You're very overwhelmed. There's a lot of thoughts, a lot of like, you know, indecision swirling in your head. Um, and it seems like there was a very difficult ending here for you. In the recent past, you get the Page of Swords, Queen of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. There's a definite ending here. There was a separation. There was a break. Um... And it was a loss, right? Like it was difficult for you. It was very, very painful for you. And you're showing me here, I'm trying to shut off my emotions. I'm trying to look at this from a very logical perspective, a practical perspective, right? Like I don't want my pain and my emotions to get the better of me. So I'm trying to be logical about this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and the way you're approaching this whole, I'm going to be logical about this, is you start questioning and doubting things, right? So certain thoughts and emotions come up as a result of a breakup. Oh, I miss them. Oh, I wish I could talk to them. Oh, you know, whatever. And what you're doing is you're taking that and you start poking holes in it. Do I actually miss them? Do Or do I just miss how they made me feel? Do I actually want to talk to them? Or am I just bored, right? You're starting to like question and doubt it in order to make yourself... <clears throat> To make it easier for you to not really feel these emotions, to not feel the pain, to not feel the loss. And this is in your recent past. In the current situation, you get the Tower, the Death, and the Nine of Swords. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. These are some pretty difficult energies in the current situation. It's very, very destabilizing. You feel like your whole world is basically crumbling down around you. As a result of this ending, there's a lot of pain, there's a lot of anxiety, there's a lot of overthinking. Um, <clears throat> these are very difficult energies. They're not super fun to deal with, and we'll see why you go through them. Um, keep in mind the tower, as difficult as it is, it's something that didn't serve you. It wasn't stable to begin with, and so even though it's suddenly crashing down, right, and this ending seems to have come out of nowhere, it's meant to teach you something. In the near future, you get the Empress, the World, the Six of Wands. Whatever it's meant to teach you, you get it. And you grow immensely as a result of that in the near future. You're stepping up. You're showing up under the Empress energy, which is literally like a level up, right? And I don't assign gender to my cards. You've learned everything you needed to learn from this ending. It's like you've ended a cycle with a very positive lesson. It's kind of like, hey, check. Learned what I needed to learn, close that book next. And you're moving in a much, much better direction towards feeling very, very good. The current energies in this situation are difficult, but it's almost like they breed such a beautiful result. They yield such a beautiful result because you've learned what you needed to learn and you're better for it. Much, much better for it. Let's take a look. I want to clarify the Seven of Cups, which is the main energy for your reading this month. Seven of Cups is clarified by the Seven of Cups again, the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Wands. You're really, really confused about what the heck is going on between you and your person. Some of you may be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. You're like, the love is there. I still have love for this person. And you've been expressing that. Like, this person knows how you feel about them. And you're very, like, first of all, you're very attracted to this person, but you're, there's something about their energy, which is almost like magnetic to you where they can't, you can't resist it. And you're showing me like, 
what is going on? I thought things were going good. I thought, you know, everything was going the way it should. What is happening right now? You're very confused. You're very overwhelmed about this whole situation and about what the heck, why is this unfolding like this? Let's take a look at the recent past. I want to clarify the page of swords for you in the recent past. Okay, okay. Page of Swords is clarified by the Six of Swords, the Tower, which you get again in the same row in the current situation, and the Four of Pentacles. You're doubting and questioning, like, why this person left, right? It's like you can't seem to let go of, like, the why. Why? Why did this happen? Why did they leave? Because this, this ending, this them being like, okay, I'm done, it came out of nowhere. You don't, I don't feel like you were expecting this at all. It was just like, you know, everything was good, everything was great, and then bam, out of nowhere, this person's like, okay, you know what, Pisces, I'm done, I'm out, goodbye. And you're like, wait, what? What is happening? Now, you're very heartbroken about this, obviously, because it's it's very surprising to you, and you also have a lot of, like, unanswered questions. You're kind of like, what the heck is going on? Like, how did this happen? Why did this happen? Give me something, anything. Explain to me, like, why you chose to walk away from this. Um... You can't seem to let go of the need to understand why. You're showing me here, like, I'm, I'm holding on to this because, like, I don't understand what the F is going on. Um, and this is in your recent past, right? So you were really confused about why this person chose to end this, why this person chose to walk away. And I feel like because you didn't get the answer to your why, because you didn't get that understanding, you're kind of just like, I don't get it. I don't get it. I need an explanation. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the Queen of Swords in your recent past. Queen of Swords is clarified by the Page of Swords, which you just got the Page of Cups and the Knight of Wands. You're trying to be cold about this, right? You're trying to be detached and look at this logically and look at this from like, what makes sense perspective, but you're having a hard time doing that in the recent past because you do still have a lot of emotions for this person. Your heart is still very heavily invested here. And it's almost like you're just, again, drawn to that person. There's like a magnetic pull that this person has on you, which you're having a hard time resisting. Um, couple that with the fact that you still have feelings for this person. It's very hard to be logical. And I can see that you're doing your very best. You're trying. You're really, really trying to be logical and practical and kind of like, you know, give yourselves the answers that you need, but you're having a hard time doing that because the emotions are still there. Let's take a look at the five of pentacles for you in the recent past. Five of pentacles is clarified by the emperor, the magician, and the two of pentacles. On the surface, you're putting on a very cool, calm, collected, I'm okay, I'm good, I'm stable, I'm fine type of front, right? This is what you want people to see. Underneath, you're going through it. You're really, really, really going through it. You're really confused. You're having a hard time finding balance because all you want, like deep down, your deep, deep desire is you just want to reignite that spark between you and this person. The loss is very difficult for you. It's very painful for you. The separation is hard for you. And you're showing me like, I'm putting on a brave face. I'm putting on like, I'm strong and I'm okay and I'll get through this. But deep down, I'm really hurting. And again, you're still showing me that you're very confused about what happened. You're having a hard time figuring out like, what happened? What is going on? Like, how did this, how did we get here? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> sorry, I'm just getting over a head cold, Pisces. I feel fine, but I know I don't sound great. So sorry if I'm coughing in your ear. Let's take a look at the current situation. I'm going to start off by clarifying the tower in the current situation. Tower is clarified by the King of Wands, Queen of Swords, and the Death. Like I said, some of you are dealing with a fire sign. Some of you are dealing with an air sign. Um, it's still it's still very like, 
you know, you're still shooken up about the, the this whole ending. You don't feel like you were still quite able to find your footing. It's like, again, you're still trying to be logical and practical and you keep showing me I'm putting on a brave face. Like if people didn't know you, like if you didn't share what you're going through with people, they wouldn't know. They wouldn't know the pain. They wouldn't know how difficult this ending is for you. But because you are putting on a brave face and you're very convincing, right? You're very, very convincing. But you're still trying to like emotionally disconnect from this ending, from the separation. But it's difficult for you. It's really, again, you still feel like you're not on stable footing. You're like, when is this going to end? I feel like I'm like in a on a roller coaster and I just want to get off and I can't get off. But anybody that looks at you wouldn't know that you're on this emotional roller coaster right now. Let's take a look at the death because you just got the death, uh, the transformation in the current situation for you. The death is clarified by the Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. It's hard for you because you really do want to talk to this person. You're showing me, look, that's fine. You don't want to reconcile. You don't want to get back together. That's okay. I get it. All I want is just to talk to you. I want to balance things out. I want us to get back to this place of equal give and take, whether it's as friends, whether, you know, I just need some closure because you still have those questions about like, what the heck happened? Why are we broken up? Like, where did this separation come from? And you're showing me all I want is some communication. All I want is for them to give me an explanation, right? Like the least you can do is that. But it's difficult for you because it doesn't seem like you're getting that because, you know, you guys are done and over. So you're kind of like, this is what I want, but I don't think I can actually get it from this person. And it's just kind of really weighing on you a little bit. These are some pretty difficult energies. I don't know who you're dealing with, but it seems like for some reason they just didn't want to give you an explanation. Like one day they just got up, they're like, okay, I'm done, goodbye, and then just poof, ghost. Like what the heck? Let's take a look at the Nine of Swords in the current situation for you. The Nine of Swords is clarified by the Temperance, the Star, and the Higher Font. You're getting there. You're getting there. Give yourself some time to heal from this pain. All you need to do, it's basically showing me, focus on yourself. Really prioritize yourself. Prioritize your needs. Prioritize your desires and your stability. And you'll get there. You'll get back to that place of stability, of basically, like... Because what you're doing right now is you're, you're trying to grasp at straws. You're trying to figure out like what the heck happened. You'll get there. Your quest for, for you know, figuring out why you'll get there. You're going to get the closure you want in the near future. We'll clarify that in a minute. Give yourself enough time to heal. It seems like you really want to expedite this process because these are not easy energy. So, of course, you want to get out of them very, very quickly. But divine timing is at play here. You need to give yourself some more time. You need to be patient with yourself and really let yourself heal from this pain. Really let yourself go through the healing process on a very deep, like, soul level. Let's take a look at your near future. I'm going to clarify the Empress for you in the near future. The Empress is clarified by the Lovers, the Three of Wands, and the Judgment. Somebody here is making a decision in the near future um, that they want this back. They want to resurrect this. And it seems like they're, they want this. Okay, sorry. Let me, <coughs> let me explain. This person is looking at you like Pisces is my person. That's my person. They're looking at this connection like this is the ultimate connection, right? Like the lovers is like your higher self, my higher self in a connection. They know they want to resurrect this. They know they want to bring this connection back, right? And they want you back in their life. They're not taking any action yet. They want it. They really do want it. But when it comes to actually doing something to make it happen, there's no action. They're like, I'll get there. I'm not ready to take action now. I'll get there. It's almost like they want you to just stand there and wait for them to decide to take action to bring this connection back into their life. That's the energy that I'm getting here. 
Um, could be you, could be the other person, but it's almost like I want it, I want it, I want it. Okay, well, go get it. Not yet. Later. In the future, for sure, but not right now. Like, I'm, I'm not going to extend my hand and go get that or make this happen. Let's take a look at the world for you in the near future. And I feel like this is your, your person's energy, not your energy. For the world, you get the five of wands, three of cups, six of wands. You get the six of wands again here. This person is showing me after this ending, right, they're conflicted. Because on the one hand, you guys are over. You're done, right? Like this book is closed. But on the other hand, they want a reconciliation. Just the thought of being able to get back together with you, of reconciling with you, of having you back in their life, makes them super, super happy. But, excuse me, again, they're conflicted because they're like, well, this is over, this is done. Is there even anything for me to work with? Is there any connection left here? Like, yeah, I want this, but, you know, what is there to bring back? Maybe there's nothing. Maybe Pisces has moved on already. But even though they're going through all this, like, thought process, just the thought of the possibility of you two coming back together, to this person, it's like, yes, best feeling ever. Let's take a look at the Six of Wands again in your near future. See what this best feeling ever is all about for this person. Six of Wands is clarified by the Eight of Swords, the Chariot, and the Ace of Cups. This person does want to have a new beginning in love with you. They really do, and they want it to happen. They want it to happen very, very quickly. To them, their definition of like, you know, us being good is us coming back together, not being friends, not hanging out, none of that. Is us having a connection again, coming back together, having a new beginning in love. The problem is this person is very good at overthinking and overanalyzing. And it seems like in the near future, and again, I feel like this is your person's energy. I don't feel like this is your energy. In the near future, this person is just stuck up in their head because now they're like, oh my gosh. I miss Pisces, I want Pisces, I want to reconcile with Pisces, I need a new beginning with Pisces. But what if Pisces moved on? What if Pisces isn't interested? What if they're going to reject me? What if there's nothing for me to work with here? What if this connection is actually over? So it seems like instead of actually taking action, right, because this person really wants it, wants this connection, they're thinking and thinking and thinking and overthinking, and they're kind of stuck on the thought process part. Um, but this is not something you can be stuck on for long. It seems like they are going to move towards having a new beginning. They just need to get out of their head. Let's close off this reading and see what you need to keep in mind this month, Pisces. From the universe, you get the High Priestess, Three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. And the bottom of the deck, you get the Four of Wands. Yeah. Somebody here really, really, really wants to come back together. They want to rebuild the foundation with you. They want to basically like you put a brick, they put a brick, you put a brick, they put a brick, and you guys rebuild a solid foundation again because they have the love, they have the emotions, they want a reconciliation. They want it. When it comes to taking action, this person is not doing much of anything. They're literally just kind of stuck in their head, overthinking this, overanalyzing, right? Right? It's like, let's pretend this amethyst is them wanting to get back together with you, right? It's right there. Okay, do you want it? Yes, oh my gosh, I want it. How badly? Oh my gosh, I want it so, so badly. Okay, get it. Go ahead, reach your hand out and get it. No, 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 no. I, I, I need to think about this. I need to think about it some more. And it seems like that's kind of where they're stuck at. Um, but Pisces, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it resonated, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you here on the next one.